So it has finally been confirmed that Bobrovsky is a man. He's a full-fledged man. A full-fledged man that have everything intact. All the things that belongs to a man that is in his body are all intact. He has not mutilated anyone. He has not, he has not done any kind of liposuction, any realignment, any alignment, anything. He has not tampered with anything in his body. Everything about him, everything that made him a man is still very intact. Only that he decided to just be deceiving people on social media and everything. But Bobrisky is still a man with all the man, everything intact in his body. You understand me? So now, the, 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 the senior officer at the recreational center, the cell where they put him, just confirmed to the world today that Bobrisky is a man. You know, before they put him in cell, they have to confirm, they have to check, they have to be very sure where they're going to put him so that they will not go and put him inside a female cell, meanwhile he's a man. Or inside a man's cell, meanwhile he's a woman. So they have to check to be sure of where they're going to keep him. So after they run their check, they now find out that Bob Brisky is a man. All his Ebola, everything, they intact. According to what they said, they said there's nothing like no form of alignment. No form of alignment, meaning nothing has been done. Nothing like a realignment. They have not even tampered with it, talk more of. Everything is still intact. So this guy's duty actually is just to come into the world to just deceive people. Because I know by now a lot of people will want to cut their own this and to, to be like Bobrisky. So many youths now are planning how to, on how to remove their own. Thinking that Bobrisky removed his. Have you seen that bad influence you're talking about? You see? Meanwhile, he's, he, everything about him, everything that made him a man is still intact. And some people that have low mentality will just go and follow him and go and remove their own. Then they will be sick and I. Meanwhile, he will still be alive and be walking around. You all know that Bobrisky has been giving us the impression that he's a man, a, a woman. That he has transitioned into a woman. It was even like a debate. So many people were even arguing it on social media. So, some, 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 some big for nothing men, I saw some men trying to defend him. There's one I saw the other day that was trying as much as he could to defend Bobrisky that yes, he's a man. This man has transitioned into a woman. So that makes him a man. No law will work against him or something like that. I'm like, anyway, shall they say common sense is not common after all? Or it's not by size. That you go, you went to the highest school or you can speak the highest English does not make you a man or does not give you common sense. Common sense is given by God. It is God that gives common sense. Common sense is different from, from study. It's di different from education. It's different from how much you can speak English. You might go to the highest university in this world and, and if you lack common sense, you lack a, no a, a lot. Common sense is very important in everybody's life. So this guy was busy defending Bobrisky that yes, he has, he told us that he, he, he has transitioned into a woman, then because of that he's a woman. You understand me? Even have the gods to go compete with women, they gave him the most, the best dressed women. It's a slight on women, on, on, on women. It's a slight on, 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 our, on, 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 our, on our gender. Maybe we just, maybe we just talk the truth. So at the end of everything now, it has been confirmed that yes, so this person that we thought who oh, our member is not to, oh, he's just deceiving us. You understand me? So now that they have put him in that correctional center, a lot of things will unfold. So many things will unfold. I just pray that he's very careful there. I pray he use his sense because Nigerian government, if they mean you, you cannot do nothing. They know how to get you. They know how to get you. Now, before he know it, if he did, if he's not careful, they will play his record here on the internet. Everybody will see it. Every day we will just jabrata. Because now that he's under their custody, they will be able to study him. They will gather plenty of information about him. CC camera is everywhere. Now they put him in a male cell. You know his kind of person. <laughs> Staying with a man is even dangerous. Because once he's with a man, he starts having feelings based on Gabrielism and all that. Now the federal government are trying to get their evidence, facts, that they will use and nail him. If he's smart enough, he should just comport himself inside that cell. 
Because if he not compose himself inside the cell, he, he, he will just give the federal government evidence that they are looking for. You understand me? So if he's smart, he should know that for the, for the fact that they came and arrested him, they cannot just come and arrest him because of his, his, his cross-dressing or something like that. No. Federal government works with evidence. That was why they used Exhibit 1, evidence, evidence number 1 that they saw, to even bring him closer. Now they went and put him inside correctional center in a male f f cell. Then the, 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 the chairman of the, the senior officer there told us, said in his statement that they are putting eye on him and they, are, they will make sure that he's okay. Yes, he will be okay. The eye that they are going to put on him is to study him. If he can't do Kurukere movements in the night, they go capture him. They will catch him. Then evidence are yak brakata. You understand me? So you know you have your this thing intact and you're playing this kind of game with on, another man. Your your bola day, you they play with the same sex and on social media. You really wanted to destroy a lot of youths. You really wanted to destroy the people people's mindset mindset. You really wanted to cause problems, but thank God that federal government have called you to order. This is a kind of warning. This thing that happened now is not like it's just a warning. So that others will learn. Somebody like James Brown have come out to tell the world that he's no longer Princess of Africa. He's now Prince of Africa. We are gradually getting to the to, to the permanent sites. You understand me? And before you know it, some other people will gradually drop. This is a warning, and this signal will go far. If they did not capture somebody like Bobrisky, others will not fear. If you notice for some days now, they have reduced. James Brand has been disturbing us on social media for some time now. He has stopped wearing female clothes. He's now putting on a male clothes. And he has openly declared that he's a man. No, he's not a woman. You understand me? So that they will not come and catch him and ask him and start asking him questions. That one self will melt inside that cell. You get? So for those of you asking if Bob is a man or a woman, it has been confirmed. He's a man, he's a woman, a man. A man with his everything, Bola, everything intact. According to what they said, they checked him and everything is intact. All these things that he used to come and tell us have done like possession, have done, have done this, let me, I've done my nash, let me go and do my head and do my eye and do my breast. He'll be walking like this. He'll be doing so many things. Oh my goodness, this guy can deceive for Africa. Tomorrow he'll come and do something. Carry bandage put all over his body and be walking as if his his uh, body is paining him on a lie on a wash. This guy don't do anything. His body just did like that. Now makeup, they use makeup. He always use makeup to cover his body. Use makeup to deceive people. So all those things you guys are seeing and wash wash. He don't do anything. He has never one razor have not entered his body. One razor have not entered that guy's body. So thank you, federal government. Thank you, the state of federal government, for this action. At least it will make it, it will instinct fear into others that are warming up. That is the idea to stop them. Because if this thing did not happen like this, by now and so many people will just be frolicking and be showcasing so many things. Thank God that you guys have 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 done this kind of thing so that there will be fear. Fear people will start having fear. Like yo, government is against this, you know. If not for this, you know, if not anything, this is one thing we have achieved this year. You understand me? So thank you so much, federal government, for this particular action. You guys have really done noble. You guys have really done, at least, some people will begin to the fear now, say, ah, this thing is not a sin. We know even, so many people don't even know that this thing is a sin. So many people do not even know that it's against the law. So many people don't, don't know. You understand? It's when things like this happen, you cannot be able to pass information to people that, ah, this thing this person did was wrong, go. It's not nice. Hmm? I still remember your own and only Amaranda TV, the chairman of online in-laws, who brings information to your table as in their hearts. Thank you and remain blessed.